What's up guys and welcome to another squad building challenge video. EA just released this week's marquee matchup set and again we have four different challenges to complete. We have the Melbourne victory versus Sydney FC game, we have Stad Ren versus FC Nos, we have Leipzig versus Hoffenheim as well as Fulham versus Hull City. The overall reward is a mega pack, I think it is, a 35k pack, plus of course the four different packs for the individual challenges. But let's walk through them one by one and start with the Australian Big Blue Derby. This is probably the easiest challenge from this week's marquee matchup set. You need one player from either Melbourne Victory or Sydney FC and 11 Hyundai A-League players. So that is 11 players from the Australian League. You need to have at least six different clubs in your team as well as a team chemistry of 90. Overall, it's pretty easy given that you will have most of these players in your club already from the bronze pack method. So just put them all in the club and pay attention that you don't have uh, that you have at least six different clubs um, and then it shouldn't be too expensive to complete this squad. However, you only get an all players pack for that. But anyway, let's just submit this and get the pack and move on to the next challenge. Next up, we have the Ren versus Nos match, which is probably the most expensive one and also the most difficult one in, in this week's set. Not that it's overly difficult, but it's probably the most challenging one. As you can see, we have not completed all the requirements yet, at least on the console. This is, and I posted this on Reddit a couple of days ago, a, I think it's a bug in this year's FIFA, because if I look at this squad on my, on, my, on my cell phone, it matches all the requirements. So it has a 78 rating. However, on my console, it has a 77 rating. I have no idea why this is happening, but it happened before in one of the previous um, squad building challenges. How, it's it's pretty disappointing from from EA side, I guess, but um, we can make slight change to the team and then we are good to go as well. So let's just flip those two around and then we have a 78 squad as well. Anyway, so what you need in this squad is a start rent player, which we have uh, right here, our right back, who's actually a center back. We need one Norse player who's another center back, a bronze center back, so we don't lose that much because we'll certainly pack him again in the bronze pack method at some point. You need seven France players, and the important thing is they do not have to be from the Ligue 1, so I just used a bunch of Bundesliga players, plus Gamera and Mathieu from the uh, Spanish League, and you need to have at least four uh, rare players. Overall rating, as I mentioned before, 78 at least, plus 85 chemistry, so you have a bunch of, uh, a little bit of leeway, I'd say, to, to move players around. As I, as I said before, this player is getting no chemistry at all, or I guess a little bit from the start rent player, but overall I play my center backs in the right mid and right back position. Overall, we match all the requirements and we get a, one, a premium gold players pack for this um, squad building challenge. So let's hand in the team and collect the pack. Next up is the Leipzig versus Hoffenheim um, match and I just realized that I just submitted a player on the previous challenge that I had in this team but that's not too difficult because the requirement is pretty pretty easy. Um, let's put in Santos and then we should be good to go. Now in this uh, squabbling challenge you need 11 Bundesliga players and 11 uh, gold Bundesliga players. So it makes it a little bit expensive, but I guess most of these players go for discard price anyway. You also need two rare players, as I have Maya and Bartstuber in my team. And you need to have uh, two players from either Leipzig or Hoffenheim. I guess you can also have one of, of each team, but I use two Hoffenheim players. One of them is a non-tradable version anyway, so that's a perfect way to get rid of him as well. For this challenge, we get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, so a 15k pack. Let's hand this team in as well and then move on to the final one, the Fulham versus Hull City match. Um, as you can see, it's a full silver squad. You need to have at least silver in your team, so I decided not to use any gold ones. Plus, it's a little bit of a twist again, similar to the Australian one, uh, to the French one, sorry. You need to have at least two players from Fulham or Hull, um, which I have the striker and the left mid are both Fulham players. And then you need to have at least a silver team with 85 chemistry. Now they don't tell you which league you need to use and they also don't tell you what rating you have to use. Um, so that being said, it makes it pretty easy to, to basically have a team from another league and to not use players from the championship. I decided to go for the third English league. So these are all third English league players. 
um, just pay attention that you can have at maximum four players from the same nationality so I have four Englishmen in here I guess um, and the rest is just a bunch of random nationalities but as I said you don't need to use championship players you only need to have I only use two of them the two Fulham players and you don't need any Premier League players whatsoever Let's submit this and we get a premium go pack, so a 7.5k pack for this challenge. And with that being submitted, we should also get the overall reward for this week's marquee matchup, which, as I said before, is a mega pack, a 35k pack. Overall rewards for this marquee matchups, I think, is around 80k. So it's pretty, pretty rewarding marquee matchup set, um, at least for the investment that we had to, to do by submitting all these players. I think I always also have a two silver players packs in here as well that we just quickly go through. These come from the from the bronze pack method, so they're basically for free. Let's see whether we pick anything decent, but even if we don't, as I said, these packs are for free, so it doesn't matter at all. Takes a little bit to, to load the market, but we get a Bundesliga 2 and a Spanish second league players player in this pack. Nothing too exciting. Let's just put that into the club and move on to the next silver pack before we open the marquee matchup packs. We get a Scottish player. Where does he come from? From the he comes from the Scottish Premier League and another Korean player. Since I didn't have them yet, I guess I'll just I just take them. As I said, they are for free. Now the marquee matchup packs. We start with the all players pack: four gold, four bronze, four silvers. Ideally, the rare one is a gold, but let's see what we get. We had actually a rare player and a a walkout. What is it? It's a Dutch walkout right mid. It's Robin. We pack Robin. Robin in an all-players pack, guys. What the fuck? Iron Robin in an all-players pack. There's four gold cards in this pack only. There's one rare card, which could be silver, could be gold, uh, could be bronze, but we get a rare gold card, and it's Iron fucking Robin, guys. 87 rated, right mid, a walkout. Let's see how much he goes for at the moment. Um, I used him in one of my previous videos, but I just bought him and used him and sold him again. Um, he goes for 80 to 90k. Pretty, pretty good. And from this pack, from a to get Iron Robin from a, from an all players bag, that that's pretty incredible. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a a Russian player a, in a couple of actually only one Premier League player nothing too exciting as I said obviously the rare player is the one to look out for in this pack and we pull Iron Robin guys let's send those players to the club and the rest to the transfer list now this marquee matchup uh, has already been definitely been worth it the packs worth uh, 80k we already in the first pack we pack a player worth 80 to 90k um, so it can only basically all the rest is is uh, just uh, icing on top of the cake. Let's go with the premium gold pack next. 7.5k pack. Let's see what we get in this one. No big flare as we pull the Viviano from Geno, I believe it is. The goalkeeper. I think I already... I didn't have him yet. And a Nice player, which will fit right into the Nice squad for the squad building challenge. Um... Let's also send this to the transfer list and two duplicates. And the rest we just store in the club. Now the three nice looking packs. We have a jumbo premium gold pack. We have a mega pack plus a premium gold players pack. Let's start with the 15k pack first. The jumbo premium gold pack. No big flair, we get a French striker, we get Gamero, which is pretty neat given that we just submitted him in the uh, Norse versus Ren match. Um, so we get him right back. Anything else worth mentioning? Two Premier League players, another French Atletico Madrid player, so perfect link in here. Any duplicates worth mentioning? No, actually not at all. Let's send all this to the club and discard the stadium. And then we have the big ones, the 25 and 35k pack, I believe it is, the, the mega pack and the premium gold players pack. Let's go with the mega pack first, 30 items, 
36 gold. Semi big flare, so it should be a decent player. We had an Argentinian center back, it's Garay. Garay from uh, Valencia is a player that I've used in previous squad building challenges quite a bit because he has obviously good links, um, given that he is from the Spanish league and Argentinian, so you can link him with, uh, with a couple of leagues. Um, anything else worth mentioning? We get Figui, Carrick. Um, and another Pro League player, which is which is good. I'm working on completing this one as well. Plus the Galatasaray player, and I was looking for a Turkish player from Galatasaray because I think they have at least three Turkish players requirement that I haven't fulfilled yet. But I guess with this guy, I should be good to go on Galatasaray. That's the fourth. Uh, that's the third pack from this week's marquee matchup. Let's go with the Premium Gold Players Pack. Now, we already, as I said, we already, as you already seen, we packed Iron Robin already, so this, this is just the icing on the cake. We get a Diouf from Stoke. Um, other than that, nothing too exciting, I suppose, given that he was on the pack. Um, not really. Another Nice player, um, but other than that, not, another Mexican um, player from the Mexican League. And two random duplicates that we sent to the transfer list and the rest we sent to the club. Guys, and we got a, a open player as well from the Pro League, um, which I was, I think I already completed, which should be complete by now. But anyway, guys, I'll look at this later. I put them in the squad building challenges later. This was this week's marquee matchup uh, set. We pack Iron Robin, 87 rated walkout in this week's marquee matchups pack. Let me know what you pack in the comments down below. <clears throat> as I said, these uh, challenges are not too expensive this week. Um, the French one is a little bit more expensive probably because it, have, it has a 78 rating requirement. But other than that, these challenges are pretty easy, pretty doable and pretty, uh, pretty cheap. Let me know what you get and I'll see you in the next video.